everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be talking a little bit about new natural skincare that I've been trying out, specifically the eye cream and also the day cream. I also do have the, uh, what do you call that? Overnight mask. Yeah, I have two overnight masks that are new as well. They came from the same distributor as well, but it's just that the brands are slightly different. But I think what I'm going to do with the overnight mask is that I want to try out a little bit more and also kind of give like a battle of the overnight mask kind of thing both of them are actually natural and both of them are also from new zealand as well so i thought it would be a good idea to kind of give like a battle of an overnight mask kind of thing so i'm gonna leave that for another video but today specifically we will be talking about the eye cream this one that they have so-called i would assume i would think that they have upgraded from this one so let me tell you first let me give you like a history background of what happened with this eye cream back then the old one yeah is the trilogy h proof co co coenzyme q a eh? how do you pronounce that <laughs> so this is the trilogy h proof coenzyme q10 eye recovery concentrate with glyca blend and uh, obviously coenzyme and q10 and also caffeine in it i was actually quite excited about it because i was searching for like a new eye cream to use i was into eye creams back then and i was needing really something new that i can use on my under eyes especially my under eyes back then was really 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 bad i has dark circle that's one thing but dark circle is really not so much my concern it's more just like the dryness underneath my under eyes i have really really dry skin but when it comes to my under eyes if it's dry it's crazy dry and it's really bad it's really obvious the line makes it like super super obvious that i'm super old <laughs> but i'm actually not super old so yeah i was looking for like an eye cream to help me up in that area so that it to moisturize it like mainly specifically because when your skin is well moisturized you will look really good actually when your skin is happy well hydrated you will actually look really good you will just look very healthy glowy and um sometimes maybe even younger so that's why i focus a lot on moisturizing my skin and hydrating my skin because one obviously i have very very dry skin but secondly i just knew that if let's say your skin is just well moisturized you will just look healthy and you will just look good this one is also natural cosmetic so it is also certified natural and it comes in a rollerball kind of uh, form or kind of hit where you roll on your under eyes i personally love rollerball stuff okay i love rollerball perfumes i love rollerball what else <laughs> aromatherapy stuff that are rollerball as well because i feel that specifically for under eyes this one will be good as well because the metal ball will help to kind of cool off the area especially if you have puffy eyes or something like that when you just woke up or things like that you want something that you know to just kind of deep puff your eyes this is actually really good especially if you keep this in like a like a cooler environment like to be honest even in malaysia our hot weather when i roll this on it still feels quite nice it still feels cooling so it is quite nice but unfortunately what i realized is that when i started using this the product unless you actually tip it like down you actually have to help it to you know use the gravity to actually help it to dispense the product the product like this will not roll on it will not roll on smoothly it will, it will be like very patchy the product doesn't dispense smoothly basically so that's why i found out about this and i i didn't really like that because every single time i want to use this i don't want to be like doing this all the time so it's ridiculous and it's just uncomfortable for my side like i would like to just like this and roll on like this and stuff like that and plus additionally that wasn't my main beef for this my main reason that i really don't like this is because this is a little bit too watery for me too liquidy for me it's not moisturizing enough for me i feel like this one after i apply on it kind of just poof, disperses into the air <laughs> like evaporates in the air it, it doesn't feel like it does anything to my under eyes that's just what i feel with this i think there were a lot of complaints about this as well that the product packaging just wasn't done well so i think what happened was that once they heard about the issue with this they decided to come up with this this is also called the trilogy h pro core enzyme q10 eye recovery concentrate i mean as you can tell the name is pretty much the same so it is kind of i guess an update or an upgraded version or a new version of the previous one but this one apparently has slightly different ingredients it says that it brightens hydrates and tone with l22 which i have no freaking idea what's that 
it has hyaluronic acid in it, okay, and it has caffeine in it. So their ingredients, like their main ingredients, are not exactly the same. I think what they realize is that they need to make it more moisturizing, especially for like age-proof product, anti-aging products, products that are for more mature skin type one. You need something that's even more like rich, feels even more luxurious, that kind of feel la, okay for the products which is exactly what i think also should be that it should be that way so new super ingredient l22 restores your skin lipid profile to what it was at 22 oh my gosh okay so helping improve the appearance of skin elasticity firmness suppleness and overall skin hydration so which means that it's supposed to help you look like 22 you know the taylor swift song you're feeling like no, what's that called? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I tried this for the past week and I kind of came to a conclusion that I actually quite like this. I mean, this is way, way better than... Sorry. This is way, way better than this one. The way it applies, the way it mass... I mean, the way it massages is not too bad. Quite okay. I don't mind the rollerball thing. Um, but it's just that the product dispenses much better, much easier right now. And it comes in this kind of like squeezy tube. The only issue for me with this is that sometimes the product will just come out by itself because there's no specific control. There's no like anything inside to control the product from coming out. So if there's any, oh my gosh, if there's any like issues with this or any complaints from me with this is that it is a little bit harder to control of how the products dispense out or basically how to get the product out last. So there's really no control on that. A little bit hard to control how much of product you want it to be, to come out especially after like i close and i shake 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 around and then i open it up it sometimes will just boop, come out by itself and especially if you don't hold it straight up this way if you hold it this way and you open it up like this sometimes it will come out by itself so it is quite dangerous a little bit so you need to be very 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 careful with this you just got to be very very gentle when you press it out and what i do with this is that i will squeeze it out first i will squeeze it until the product kind of lingers on top of this and then i'll just dot it underneath my eyes like this dot it dot dot both sides basically and then i won't press it anymore just use the, the massager the massager tip which i think is genius the massager tip in this kind of shape i think it's genius i actually quite like the massager tip first of all i'll just spread the products first obviously spread it all around you know at the same time kind of massage it and then i'll use like the corner side here or even the tip here where it's a little bit more like Smaller in surface area. Oh my gosh, yes, that's the word. I'll use that to really press in a little bit more, massage it a little bit more underneath my eyes, and also use the remaining to try to go up onto my this area here, basically, and press it there a couple of times because that's where a lot of times you feel stress is from here. So here really will help you to distress. I'll use it for both sides of the eye, I'll do this kind of massage. Sometimes I'll press it here. It really helps, uh, it really helps to calm you down. It really helps to just makes your eyes feel so much better. You makes you feel so much better. As I mentioned, the only issue with this is just that sometimes it's hard to control how much you want it to come out. And sometimes you don't want it to come out and it still comes out. And also because there's like no specific filter inside, I don't know how hygienic this is. So don't share it with anybody. If anybody else wants to use this, Ask them to squeeze it out their, what is it called, the ring finger and apply it on their eyes. Only you can use the tip, okay, to make sure that is, you know, hygienic purpose lah, okay? <laughs> to make sure that it is safe for you to use every single time. So don't share this lah, if possible, just don't share this. Product itself, it is yellowy liquid in color. It is thick that it doesn't drips everywhere. It is a nice consistency. It's almost like a cream gel kind of texture. It's very easy to smooth out, very easy to apply underneath the eyes. After you apply it on under your eyes, you massage and everything, it does feel like it moisturizes your under eyes. It does feel like it hydrates your under eyes quite well. And I really, really like this. This really is like a more of a luxurious eye cream that you can feel and i like it a lot it's good and also yes they do suggest that once you kind of swipe it off you massage it in what i'll do is that i will kind of gently tap it under my eye just to kind of make sure that the product will actually seep in even more will go in even more just make sure that it being absorbed even better so that's why i'll just do this and now i'll sometimes go over my eyes as well because i don't know i always assume that my top eyelid here also needs some love needs some care so yeah that's my thoughts about the under eye cream 
Let's move on to the other product which is the Trilogy Age Proof Lime Smoothing Day Cream. For me, it says that it's a day cream but for me, if let's say when they say that there's no, there's no sunscreen, there's no SPF in it, that's where I feel like, oh, it should be safe. To be used during the night time but the thing is i'm also not sure because it does say that it helps to reduce the visible appearance of wrinkles so does it mean that this has like a priming kind of um, property to it or priming kind of ingredient to it i'm not sure about that for me my kind of uh, basic theory or my kind of like rule of thumb is that when they do not have any spf in it do not have any sunscreen in it I would just assume that even though it's written day cream, you can actually use it for nighttime as well. That's just my rule of thumb. So I did use it once for nighttime and I did use it a couple of times for daytime for about a week like basically. And um, I can safely say that it didn't, it didn't cause any irritation to my skin. It actually feels really really nice. They don't smell super like florally pleasant kind of scent. It just smells... I don't know. They don't have the super pleasant kind of smell but they don't smell bad either. I smell worse natural products so it don't smell bad either. This is like a white cream kind of feeling. It is quite thick. Definitely this is made for obviously made for mature skin type. So, if, and also if you have super super dry skin, you will actually love, 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 love this one for the daytime. It feels so good, feels so luxurious. This one can even pass as my nighttime moisturizer and I'm very very happy with it already. But daytime, I do feel that I cannot put on too much. I will put on just a little bit lesser than what I put during the nighttime. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel too oily as well, but it is moisturizing and you can actually feel it on your face and it feels so so good that's pretty much it for my thoughts on these two products i just want to talk about it and i just want to share with you guys about it because i really really like it i'm actually glad that i got this thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye, -bye. don't forget to like and subscribe